Hey, welcome back everybody. It's great to be with you. Uh, as, as probably many of you watching this know, uh, we had just a horrific event here on Sunday. Uh, there was a, an assault on campus and uh, it really just has, uh, it was horrific and just affected really our, our whole community. Uh, just sort of a, a violation of not only the person, but of, of the entire community's feeling of uh, you know, safety and so forth. Uh, we're a safe campus and I've, I've sent out an email uh, to that update to have everybody know sort of where we are. Uh, and I will be meeting with students and, and staff and so forth to uh, just continue to work on ways to improve our safety. Like how do we all do that together to make it a, even a safer place? So take a look at that email that I've sent out, uh, which will just give you a little bit more information, update on, on what's happening. And uh, also you'll be getting more information about times that we may be able to get together and, and to talk and to affect some, uh, some future changes. Other things that are happening on campus, uh, we have the uh, Sports Hall of Fame banquet that's going to be coming up September 23rd. Uh, we have the 1989 men's soccer team being honored. Uh, Teresa Nolan, who was Teresa Breslin at the time, uh, she's uh, being honored. Uh, Bill Collins and uh, Frank Zink. And so uh, look for that information and hopefully you'll be able to join us on the 23rd for just a wonderful evening, a great way of celebrating uh, some wonderful people who have accomplished such you know, tremendous things. Homecoming's coming up. I'm only telling you about it now. It's October 6th to the 8th. That gives you a little time, but I wanted to give you enough notice that you can make some plans. Uh, if you're outside the college community and you plan on attending, uh, make your plans now and we'll have up some information so you can see all the events that are going to be going on as well. The freshman retreat happened this past weekend. Uh, very well attended. We had like 52 freshmen at it and we had uh, I think a total of 100 uh, individuals participating, upperclassmen and monks and priest and focus, members of focus and uh, it just was a wonderful weekend with uh, many great talks and events and there was opportunities for some good stuff like swimming and, and uh, camaraderie of all kinds so it was uh, just a, a wonderful weekend. The residence halls continue on, this construction keeps going, we keep trying to pressure them to finish them as quickly as possible. Uh, as of right now we're told that uh, this 15th, next Friday, uh, the women should be able to move into St. Gertrude the Great Hall. Uh, You'll, you'll be hearing and you can keep following the data on the website. It's bac.edu forward slash construction, which will give you the definitive day by day uh, account of where we are. But I'm very hopeful, um, at least I'm praying that next Friday will be the day that at least our women can move into the new residence hall. Finally, uh, Dr. Jensen and Dr. Hutchinson uh, co-authored a uh, wonderful piece on transforming writing using artificial intelligence, uh, ways to enhance the learning experience using it with students. Uh, and so that's just a great accomplishment on their part. And if you see them, uh, offer them uh, a well done. And uh, finally, I always finish with birthdays. Uh, just uh, so uh, grateful for the lives of those that are here in our community. And I uh, just wanted to make sure I wish everybody a happy birthday. And um, Adam Smith, who's our head athletic trainer, it's his birthday. And uh, just a wonderful, good man who just does uh, an incredible sacrificial uh, work. I mean, all the athletic trainers do, uh, but Adam is a leader, and uh, I just am so grateful for all that he does. And speaking of athletic trainers, it's Lazaro Garcia's birthday as well. Uh, he's an athletic trainer here, and again, just, just so grateful for all the work that he does and uh, all of our trainers do. Uh, Ansley Froman, who's an assistant uh, acrobatic coach, and uh, last year they just had such a, an incredible season. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what they can do this year. And uh, finally, Abbott Placid Solari, uh, our chancellor, our abbot, uh, just a blessing uh, for all of us that Abbott Placid is here. Uh, for those that know him, and I know many of you do, uh, he's just a wonderful, holy, good man and priest and spiritual director and just does so much for us. And so uh, if you see him, you know, even send him an email, uh, just uh, wishing him an especially happy day, happy birthday because uh, we truly are blessed uh, to have him here in our community. Uh, and with that said, uh, I'll look forward to hopefully seeing all of you sometime soon. So until then, take care and God bless.